Mark Moore is from the Dartmouth Crab Company, which automatically compels me to correct the claim that it was Scottish fishermen exclusively who were part of, or maybe it is. Let's find out. Mark Moore is, is on the line. Mark, thank you for your time. What's going on? Good morning. Well, Hello. It, is, it is industry and nationwide. It's certainly not uh, exclusively the Scots. We're all in this together. You know, we're, uh, <laughs> we're all very competitive within our industry, but on the other hand, you know, the situation is almost unworkable and we need some change. You know, our industry is da- spiralling downwards. So that's, that's what, what, what exactly, before we dig into that detail, yeah. what exactly are you and your uh, compadres up to right now? Well, we're, we're driving around London. I think there's upwards of 50 uh, fish lorries, shellfish transport lorries, uh, cruising around London, enjoying a day out and everything else, and just trying to raise awareness. It's right. not supposed to be a, an aggressive, um, you know, protest. We're just trying to raise awareness that, you know, yes, the bulk of the fishing industry voted for Brexit. We're not denying that, but it's the terms we have to work under now that is so difficult you know so there's no you're not going to be dumping rotting crab carcasses at the door of downing street or anything like that you're just presumably i mean implicitly or explicitly responding to the foreign secretary's suggestion yesterday that he doesn't believe the problems you're currently having have anything to do with brexit um of course they have something to do with brexit because of the uh increased debt documentation we have to produce now um we're not per se complaining about that we knew that would happen that was always going to happen but it's the way in which we have to collate it the time frames we have to produce it our industry is very very much just in time you know more so than any other job and well, the for, for obvious reasons we're, we're, we're almost all of us have encountered what happens if fish is not dealt with mm. just in time haven't we Absolutely. You know, but ours is a live product. You're trying to get it as, you know, we send a weekly lorry to Portugal, uh, weekly lorries to Spain and France. Um, You know, other guys are doing exactly the same job as us. And, you know, delays at the ports in in France are making things difficult. You know, one guy had a consignment stop because of 0.7% error, uh, 7.7 kilo error Mm. in documentation, which is ridiculous, you know. Well, except from from their point of view, that that them's the rules, and they always have been, and we thought we'd be better off out. I'm I'm just to say, I'm not uh, saying that, you know. I mean, we we always... um, you know, the fishing industry was the driver behind Brexit, I would say. Elements of it were. I think you were horribly hijacked by people like Nigel Farage, but...